Okay, so good day, grade 6. Our discussion for today is all about commission. So wherein we will use the different formulas to solve the problem here in commission. So for example, I have here um, a problem. So Lenny has 5% commission as a real estate agent. How much will her commission be if she sold a lot for 480,000 pesos? So first, um, we will identify or we will list down the given facts or the given here in our problem. So we have here the um, total sale, which is 480,000. So for total sale, we have here total sale is equals to 480,000 peso. And then the rate here, or let's say the commission rate here is 5%. So commission rate is equals to 5%. So therefore, um, the question here is the commission and the um, net proceeds or yung kinita ng um, real estate company. So the commission is... Um, is yung unknown natin. So, ito yung ating a-answeran. And then, yung um, net proceed. So, yan. Okay. So, the commission here is yung kinita ni Lenny. And then, the net proceeds is yung kinita naman ng real estate company. So, therefore, we need to solve first the commission para kay Lenny. So, we will use the formulas for commission. So, for commission, we have here um, total sales. Um, ah, commission rather. So, commission pala tayo. Oops. This is commission. So, commission is equals to Total sales multiply by the commission rate. And then substitute sa given natin. So the total sales here is 480,000. So 480,000 times the 5% which is yung commission rate. Okay, to solve this, so meron tayong mga st um, steps. So first is we need to solve or we need to rewrite the percent symbol or the percent into decimal form. So in the decimal form lang natin siya by moving two decimal places papunta sa left. So we have here 1, we have here 2. So decimal at 0. So therefore, 4,800,000. 000. So much better if um, i -re rewrite natin siya pa vertical. So, we have here 0 and 0, 0,5 hundredths. And then, we're going to solve. So, 5 times 0 is equals to 0. We have here 0 and 0, another 0. So, 5 times 8, we have 40. So, 0 carry 4. So, 5 times 4 is equals to 20. And then, plus 4, we have here 24. And then, any number multiplied by 0 is equals to 0. So, therefore, maglalagay lang tayo ng mga 0. So, ikalawa, katlo. 1, 2, 3. So, isa pa, katlo. Then, dito naman, sa last, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then, we will add the partial product. Okay, so adjust lang tayo ng cam. Okay, so therefore add the partial product, we will bring down 0, 0 plus 0, 0, so puro 0, then here, 4, and then 2. So the rule here in multiplication, decimal, so ikakount lang natin yung decimal places, so 1, 2. So therefore we have here 2. So therefore we have here um, 24,000. So, 
24,000 is our commission. So, Lenny, um, get 24,000 commission. So, meron siyang 24,000 pesos. So, yon. Okay. So, now let's solve for the net proceed. So, ito naman yung kinita ng real estate company ni Lenny. So, the formula here is we need to subtract the total sales by the commission ni, Nelly, ni Lenny. Rather. So, formula for net proceed is net proceed is equals to total sale minus the commission. So, total sale is equals to 480,000 pesos minus 24,000 of the commission of Lenny. So, 480,000 minus 24,000, we have here 456,000 pesos. So, this is um, the net proceed. So, we have here 456,000 pesos. Okay. Since nasolo natin, we will try to check or para ma-apply din natin yung formula for the total sale and the um, commission rate. Okay. So, first, uh, magsusulat muna ako dito ng ating given para mas madali natin siyang isolve. So, another paper lang tayo. So, wait lang. So, we have here. Yun. Okay. So, try natin isosolve itong si um, total sale and the commission rate. Okay. So, to solve the total sale, so we need to apply the formula. Um, total sale is equals to the commission divide the commission rate. Okay. So, substitute lang natin. So, 480,000 um, divide by the commission rate which is 5%. So, if we divide this, we will get um, Okay. So, mali. Commission pala tayo. So, this is 24,000. So, sorry. 24,000. I-delete ko lang. Or i-erase ko lang. Wait. So, yon Na-erase na natin. So, therefore, commission. So, continue. 24,000. So, this is 24,000. So, 24,000 divide 5%. We have here um, 400,000. 80,000 Okay, so to show this or para makita natin or para mas maintindihan natin So first, um, gagamit tayo dito ng long division So I have here um, 24,000 Okay, so since percent siya para mas madali na lang, gawin na lang natin siyang whole number So therefore, tatanggalin natin tong um, percent sign And then, this will become a whole number. Now, um, since tinanggal natin siya ng percent sign, mag a na lang tayo ng dalawa pang zero. Since sa decimals, um, nag-move tayo ng two decimal places. Okay, so let's apply division. So, 24 divided 5, we have here 4. So, 5 times 4, we have here 20. So, subtract. 24 minus 20, we have 4. Bring down 0. 40 divide 5, we have here 8. And then 5 times 4, uh, 5 times 8, we have here 40. So subtract, therefore, we have here 0. And then bring down 0 or any number um, divide by 0, the answer will become 0. So therefore, lagay lang tayo dito ng mga 0. So, therefore, the answer is here is 480,000. So, the same. So, that is the total sale. Okay. So, to solve the commission rate here, uh, we need to follow the formula. We're in 
um, commission rate is equals um, commission divided by the total sale. So, i-substitute lang natin. So, the commission is 24,000. And then, the total sale here is 480,000. And then, if we divide this, 24,000 divided by 480,000, we will get 0 and 0, 0,5 um, hundreds. <coughs> And then, since commission rate yung ating hinahanap, i-change lang natin itong decimal into um, percent na uh, percent. So, we need to change by moving to decimal places. And then, ang matitira is 5. And then, we will add percent symbol. So, yun lang. Napakadali. Commission rate. So, yun lang grade 6. Um, discussion about commission. So goodbye.